All right. Emulating a um, mini scribe hard drive running a Unix PC. Running um, Unix version 3.51. AT&T's Unix version 3.51. Just did a fresh install and um, it's actually running off the emulated hard drive. Absolutely fantastic. Very impressive. What's interesting about this is there seems to be some hard drive activity that I am not used to with uh, a physical hard drive. Running the same format off of a, another MFM hard drive doesn't seem to produce the same result. Now what we have is there seems to I mean, you, you can clearly see the activity here, which is very strange. Um, I don't know what to expect because I've never done this before, but it, it, it seems that if it were hitting a physical hard drive like that at the login screen, you'd hear, you'd hear it, um, but you don't. All, at this stage, all you would hear with a physical hard drive is the hard drive spinning. So what's going on here, I don't understand. Now, we'll just, uh, we'll just log in as root. that activity I would expect because it should be hitting the hard drive but this seems to be a little bit slower than it would be with a physical hard drive and there seems to be some screen refreshing going on we see some blinking here that I'm not used to seeing when it runs off of a physical hard drive and the cursor is not quite normal it's blinking a little bit too fast. It seems to be um, dealing with some screen interruptions here, and I'm wondering if that's corresponding with whatever's going on over here. So hopefully we can see a little bit more about exactly what cylinders it's hitting and heads that it's hitting. And um, I'll provide as much as I can at this very moment from this, the uh, terminal buffer here so that you can see exactly what's happening because at this moment nothing should be happening now we should have something happening here and we do but again unusual cursor blinking unusual screen refresh at least with the time going on up here and maybe it has something to do with the clock I don't know. But, let's see if we can find out. Anyway, David, absolutely amazing, amazing MFM emulator. I am extremely impressed. Congratulations on doing something that no one has done before. I look forward uh, to your feedback.